Why? Because synchronous reduce the side point harmonics. Now the second issue is MA MF should be an odd integer also to reduce the harmonics. Okay, because if it is an integer, no uh, even harmonics will be there, only the odd. But when we go for large MF, okay, a synchronous a synchronous is not must now. We can work in asynchronous situation, but why? Because the sideband harmonics already reduced, but it's preferable, preferable to work with synchronous all the time. For over -mod modulation, the output voltage will be greater than VD over 2, lower than 4 over pi VD over 2, as we explained. Now here, as you can see here, we, we can uh, control it by controlling uh, the uh, MA greater than 1, where the control signal becomes greater than triangle signal. For square wave, square wave is square from the name. We got output as a square, as I will explain later on in one of the circuits. Okay. Now here, we can integrate and we can find, as I will show you later, that it will give 4 over pi VD over 2. For that, because it's square, it gives 4 over pi. Now, this is the one uh, one leg, but explain it in another way. In another way, have a look here. You can see supply here and two capacitor. By the way, I can't cancel that supply. I can make it directly here, Vs over 2 as a supply, and here as a supply, rather than capacitances. But th these are my switches, Q1 and Q2. But what I added here, D1 and D2, this diode will make sure my circuit will work in four, as I mentioned, four quadrants. And if you come to the current, increase, decrease, increase, decrease, increase, decrease, as you can see here. When it is positive, Q1 will be on. Negative D, the diode D2 will conduct. Q2 will conduct for negative. D will conduct for return, and so on. So all the time, the load will find, the load current will find path to follow through. And if you come here to the voltage, as you can see here, positive, negative. If we talk about each uh, current in each switch, switch one and switch two, we can see that this is, these are the current zero, one to follow in one of these switches. And when we subtract them to find the output, we will find that square wave or something, uh, sorry, increase, decrease in this way. Now, because it's when we integrate, by the way, we got the half VD over 2 when we integrate this signal. And since we, we have periodic, we can use Fourier as we defined before to have a Fourier output voltage is a Fourier by Fourier is average plus cosine and sine elements. And because it is a quarter wave symmetry, we will uh, cancel the sine, only the cosine will be left in this signal. And then at the output, V output will be defined by this formula. Each component to be added, summation of all components will give me the output voltage. Now for fundamental, if I substitute in the previous equation, uh, N or the harmonics by one, I got the fundamental, which is at the end 0.45 V. This remind me with half wave rectifier. Okay. What about the current? Current is voltage divided by uh, impedance. So if I divide the previous formula by the impedance, which is square root R square plus omega L square, sine, okay, the uh, omega T minus theta, which is the phase shift, I have formula for current. And the output power will be input power, uh, input voltage, uh, output voltage, uh, output current multiply cosine, uh, the angle between them, or simply I square R it's the same discussion for AC circuits. For DC current, okay, here I will give a free brief, but we will discuss it at the end of this session. Okay, now if we assume the circuit is ideal, input equal output, so integration of voltage current for the input equal to integration of voltage current of the output, and since we have output voltage and output current, as we explained, then we can find IS to be this formula which is constant DC current and the voltage here is double of one leg so if one leg is VD over 2 multiplied by 2 it means 
think it is bipolar you may say okay how you know it's bipolar because the voltage fluctuate between minus vd and vd between the highest voltage and the highest voltage in the positive highest voltage in the negative okay all the time you see here all the time wherever you go you can see this is the fluctuation now later i will show you the unipolar now the same previous example exactly the only difference is you see here 1 over square root 2 i multiply by 2 because it's two legs or directly i say vd you see here this cancelled and this one to be taken from the table you see here i uh, by, by multiplying these two parts i go to 12.13 it is the same for all cases the only difference the, the the only difference is this value has been changed because it is double now otherwise the ratio taken from the table 0.8 as we explained before 0 0.22 0 0.818 and so on this is the table as i mentioned okay here here double fundamental frequency so this is the second item and for i output is the dotted line here sinusoidal but id the supply current will be you look like this which is highly distorted okay now why we have this uh, uh, ripple in voltage and uh, why we have this uh, harmonics two reasons for ripple and voltage producing this uh, harmonics the first one is at the input we also we, we, we have assume we, we assume that we have rectifier and you remember when we discussed rectifier that rectifier is uh, is not giving 100% uh, smooth dc there is some sort of uh, uh, let me say ripple in output voltage and the second point the uh, formula we just derived show that one element of the DC current contain uh, trigonometric function with uh, double or twice the frequency modul uh, modulation double uh, W sorry the frequency angular frequency w, w multiplied by 2 because of this we have this ripple now until now we've been discussing the single phase rectifier in terms of uh, pulse width modulation uh, bipolar but what about unipolar unipolar it means each leg separately control so we have two control signal one for leg a and one for leg b as you can see here two sinusoidal this one as example for leg a this one for leg b okay and it's compared with the same triangle signal so van we we have this waveform for van vbn we have this one for vbn and the same discussion applied uh, in the circuit apply here the only difference is you can see here from this waveform that the fluctuation of the voltage from zero to vd and from zero to minus vd it's not anymore from minus vd to you remember in in, in bipolar in bipolar is go down in this way okay now it's not anymore in this in this situation also it seemed to be the harmonics reduced when we use unipolar unipolar it, it seemed to be reduced the harmonics because we can see still the sideband harmonics are there but the main harmonics has been cancelled and if we discuss the dc current in this situation we will find also the sinusoidal is the same but the dc current will look like this okay and here now th this one just to say that for the second leg also it's here but we cannot plot it if we plot it you cannot understand what's going on and seem to be increased here the side band but the original will be reduced now one more is the voltage cancellation you remember this is the same circuit but what i will do i will use you to pulse with modulation to control the output i will control okay the switches in a way that as example here van vbn van work from here to here and the same thing for the second cycle but vbn i will not start when the switch here is off i will start before and since the output is van out vo is van minus vbn right 
So let me let me check. Let me check. This voltage is VD minus zero VD. This voltage is VD minus VD zero at at alpha, right? Alpha is not firing angle. No, no, it's an angle. Now zero minus VD minus VD and so on. You see, I increase the uh, alpha, increase or decrease the alpha, increase or decrease the output voltage. Now let integrate it. Let integrate this voltage. If I integrate it, I go through the integration here. Hmm. And by the way, we can define beta, another angle, to be from here to here is 80 minus alpha. You see here? I, I canceled part of the waveform. Alpha. 180 minus alpha over 2 which is beta beta is half of it so I can find V out in term of beta by integration this is called one single phase uh, voltage cancellation circuit now for ripple to be considered at the output you know that my output mainly is inductive load let me assume this is motor back EMF and inductance and my output coming here will enter this load okay induction motor so the voltage across the inductance will contain the force and natural part. Natural part is the ripple, ripple part. You remember superposition? If I separate the natural from the ripple, I will find that V output V ripple equal I ripple um, uh, introduced to the voltage uh, to the inductance. While for force, the output voltage is V across the inductance plus uh, the back EMF. I can plot the block the, the phasor diagram here. This is EO and this is the drop across the inductance and IO, VO is the voltage applied across the load. We can't find the ripple. We can't find the ripple from this circuit here. We can't find the ripple. We say that I ripple, we know that um, VL equal L D I L over DT. We can cross multiply and simplify it will be I ripple equal 1 over L integration V ripple. This is how it looks like the ripple for square wave and for pulse width modulation. For square wave, you can see we have square output and the fundamental will be sinusoidal. If I subtract them, this is how it looks like my signal, ripple signal. And if I integrate this signal, the ripple, and divide by L, I got I ripple as I explained. It looks like this. You see the peak, it's peak at pi and it's high. Here, the pulse with modulation, this is the, uh, con the fundamental and this is the uh, output voltage. And if we subtract them, this is how it looks like the waveform. And if I integrate, this is I ripple. I can see here more ripple fluctuation, more fluctuation, but the maximum, uh, the peak is lower than that compared with square wave. Now, a few parameters uh, is worth to be defined here related to harmonics. Harmonics, because we mentioned that one of the problem need to be considered inverter. Yes, we design our circuit to convert this to AC, but harmonics is there. We need to deal with them. We need to reduce them. Now, harmonic factor represent the uh, percentage of each harmonic with respect to the fundamental. It means this is the harmonics, fifth, seventh, whatever it is, with respect to the fundamental. We want to see the contribution of each one. While total harmonic distortion, we just define it to be uh, is used to measure how closeness in shape between the waveform and the fundamental one, the sinusoidal one. And defined by this formula, we started this semester by the definition of total harmonic distortion. While distortion factor, distortion factor could be defined as parameter used to measure the effectiveness in reducing unwanted harmonics without having to specify the value of a second order load filter and is defined in this formula. Now, you remember we mentioned that there is second order harmonic, okay, in the current, DC current. So, this without convert, without controlling that, this parameter will show the effectiveness of reducing it. Lowest order harmonics is the lowest order or the closest order harmonics to the fundamental. You know fundamental is the first harmonic. The closest, as example, if I back to rectifier in AC, in, in, in single phase, the third harmonic is the closest or lowest order harmonic. In DC, sorry, in three phase, the fifth harmonic is the closest one or lowest order harmonic because the third already cancelled. Now, 
for single phase bridge inverter as you can see here it's a bridge i really plotted again and i added diodes the same discussion we went through when we discussed the half bridge is apply here it's the same okay the only difference is rather than i have vd i have v, vd over 2 i have vd or vs over 2 i have vs the same one and as you can see here the current going through two uh, transistors two diodes transistor diodes and so on the same discussion applied for half a bridge for current are apply is apply here and the for dc voltage applier we already discussed it we have constant uh, element in the uh, dc current and uh, another one periodically change trigonometric with double frequency i will stop here and see you in the next session